Alright folks, today I'm gonna show you how to prepare smoked mushrooms and these smoked mushrooms were served with a delicious garlic dip. So stay tuned! It's time to grill! Okay, before we start talking about the different steps and the ingredients for this recipe, I have to explain why this video is important. This dish is served on almost every funfair uh, or annual market you have in Germany. And the people simply love these mushroom with the garlic dip. And it's served in huge cast iron pans with a lot of mushrooms in there. And that's why I decided to make my own version um, with a little bit of a smoke flavor. Let's get started with the garlic dip. We already chopped up fresh garlic parsley and took the lemon juice of a half cut lemon. And we are mixing these ingredients with yogurt and mayonnaise. If you want to cook this dish at home, that's pretty easy. You will find the complete list of ingredients in the video description. So we took all the ingredients, added salt and pepper. I used jack and smoke. Smoked salt meets whiskey pepper. All you have to do now is mix it and put it into the refrigerator for approximately two hours. If that's too liquid for you, just uh, play with the ratio of mayonnaise and yogurt. You already saw me cooking a lot of things in my cast iron pan. So this is my friend for uh, several years now and I just oiled it up inside with sunflower oil and we are taking brown mushrooms today. I cut a little bit away of the straw and we are putting this on the grill at 110 degrees Celsius and we let the pan with the mushroom heat up for 10 to 15 minutes. After 15 minutes we heat up the temperature. We are rising the temperature to 200 degrees Celsius which is approximately 400 degrees Fahrenheit. After that time the mushrooms will start to pull water. So they lose water into the pan and that's why we heat up the uh, grill so the water can dissolve. We are now turning the mushrooms and you can already see that they really have a nice color, nice brown color inside and of course we have more space inside the cast iron pan so we are ready to add some more mushrooms later on. At that point I add two pieces of butter and then we are closing the grill again and let the mushrooms and the butter cook for another 15 minutes. After 15 minutes the pan looks like this and the mushrooms are getting smaller and smaller. So we now have more space and we could add two or three more mushrooms. So I took 800 grams of fresh and nice looking mushrooms today and that's exactly the amount that goes into my cast iron pan. If you want to buy this dish on a market it's really expensive compared to the ingredients. Now add salt and pepper and some paprika and we're done with the seasoning. Due to the price it's a good idea to do this at home and it's of course very very simple and easy to do. So here's the paprika. Lucky you if you hit your pan completely. And now close the lid again and let them cook for uh, I guess another 10 till 15 minutes. So here's the final result. This is smoked mushroom pan with butter, salt and pepper and paprika and it's really tasty. If you like them smaller with more butter flavor you can just let them cook for another 5 to 10 minutes longer. If you want for me these are looking perfect. And we're taking one of these right now. 
Of course, if you want, you can add some uh, fresh chopped up parsley here. It adds a nice color and of course it adds additional flavor. I decided to take the first one without the parsley and we are just putting this into the garlic dip and that's what I love. I would like to thank you for watching so far. I'm gonna give this a shot right now. Please hit that like button if you are into smoked mushrooms with garlic dip. I appreciate any comment and thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a nice weekend. I'm out. See you.